Hello guys, welcome to GTP Business Tech View, another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you actually uh, how you can take a, a virtual machine snapshot. So basically VMware snapshot, VMware virtual machine snapshot. So I'll show you guys step by step and let's get started. All right, so in here, in the, in here, I, I log into two machine. This is this is Windows 10 machine where I um, where I'm accessing my base center. So this is my base center, and there is another machine is WSS machine. Basically, uh, this is a WSS machine, but I want to show you actually how a snapshot work. Why you need to have a snapshot. So before I tell you why you need to have a snapshot, I can show you actually how you can take a snapshot. So or maybe I can explain it before I show you guys, right? So the reason you need to have a snapshot because um, if you want to make any change on the machine, um, you apply the change, but after you apply the change, you are facing a lot of issues with the existing application. In that case, how you can roll back, how you can revert back. So that's why you should take a snapshot because if you have a snapshot, if you have a snapshot, like say, for example, this machine, right? I have a snapshot here. If you go to the snapshot manager and you can so easily, you can revert it. You can easily revert. So just select the snapshot and revert it. It's going to be revert. So you can get the, your previous state. You can get the, your previous state. That's, that's the one reason. And the another thing is like, okay, so you take the snapshot, you take the snapshot, but whatever the change you made, that's good. That's like perfectly working. You don't need to revert back. In that case, what are you going to do? So you're going to simply delete the snapshot. You don't need to revert. So if you want to revert back, in that case, you have to revert first and then delete the snapshot. But if you do all, like if you take a snapshot and after that you made some change on the machine, on the server, on the application server or in any, any, any server. So after you made any change and, and, and also like after the, whatever your target, whatever was your target to, make make that change and that change is perfectly working with your system in that case you don't need to revert back right so you just need to delete the snapshot and then whatever the change you made is going to be stay on the server so let's show you guys actually how we can do that so right now i don't have nothing on my desktop here right um this one i don't need actually i'm just putting here okay All right, so I did some change right now and I have a snapshot already. So whatever the change I made right now, I just moved the uh, one file was there and I just moved it to the trash recycle bin. I just and also deleted it, right? But when I made this one, at that time I had a snapshot here. Let's show you. You see? So, I move a machine, I move the file to the recycle bin and then I delete the recycle bin. But when I did this operation in that time, I had a snapshot. So now if I want to get back that uh, recycle bin, uh, sorry, the, that, uh, that application file or whatever I deleted, so I can just revert back, then I will get it back. So I'll show you uh, with the multiple snapshot. So how you can take a snapshot. So before I take a snapshot, I want to make another change, which is in here. So one change we already made here, and that change I'm going to make on the same snapshot, I'm going to make another change. So you can say first folder, your first folder, your first folder, right? So you make one first folder here. So this is one change you made, right? And then now you're thinking, okay, I'm going to make another change. So let's go, before you make another change, just take a screen, another screenshot, uh, sorry, snapshot. Take a snapshot and make sure don't take this, uh, whenever machine is running, don't take a snapshot with a virtual machine memory because this one will take huge space and plus when you delete the snapshot, it will take a long time. So just uncheck it. And here you can have a description like say, um, after, first folder, first folder we created and then we take the snapshot, right? First, that's something after first folder and after first folder and before second folder. 
So just for your understanding, I'm writing like this way. So first folder we created on our first snapshot, right? So after we done it, then I we take the second snapshot, and on the second snapshot we are now. I just take a sna second snapshot. You're gonna see shortly here. Okay, you see here. Now I have another snapshot. This one is taken 24, and this one taken today, right? Second snapshot, and after first folder and then before second folder, right? Second folder. So now I'm going to make a change. I'm going to create a second folder here. Second folder, right? Now, come back here and say, so on the second snapshot, I made some change, right? I made some change. What what change I made? I created a folder, a folder name is second folder, right? So if I revert back then, second folder will be removed, right? If I revert back this one to here, then if I revert back to here, then what's gonna be happen? If I say revert back only here, just revert back here, then it will remove the second folder. If I say revert back here, then it will remove all both both of them. Because in the when I made this snapshot at that time there was nothing, right? After that I take a first folder, and then I take the second snapshot, and then I take the I, I after I take the second snapshot, then I create the second folder so now if you whenever you select and say revert right now my my current machine uh, my current machine is here but if you say revert here the one is already selected right this one is already selected and if you say revert here that means it's going to remove all only second folder okay let me show you one one more example so Say second for it, so here the third one. Right click, snapshot, take a snapshot, or I can take a snapshot from here too, right? And you can see here, okay, after second folder and before third folder, right? Before third folder. So this is my third. Snapshot. All right. Tough snapshot is selected, and but I didn't make any change, right? So I'm going to after third snapshot, I'm going to make a general change, which is my third folder. Okay. So now, this is the third time I made change, right? But you, you, but now you're deciding. Okay, actually, the change I made here, the third one, is not working. It's not work out. Then what are you gonna do? So just simply come here and select the same one. The one is already selected. Just say revert and suspend the virtual machine. Or if you don't want, then just revert. Okay. So it's reverted, right? And the machine is powered off. And the machine is power off. And then look at here. So if you turn on the machine again now, still it shows three, right? Three snapshot. You just revert it. So it still it shows three. You, are, you didn't delete the snapshot, you just revert it. So whatever the change you made, you just revert back. You are still in the third snapshot, right? But the third folder will be removed. Let's see. So now I just power on the machine again. You have to wait until the machine is start up. Okay. So the third folder will be removed, right? That's what we're gonna we'll look at it. Okay, so machine is ready. Now I'm going to log in. Um, so I have I will have only two folder, not the third one.
see here so i have second folder and first folder not the third one and if you come back here if you go to the so now the reason i take the third snapshot but the change i made i already got back so that means i don't need that snapshot right so go to the manage snapshot and then select this one and so you can say delete delete the snapshot Okay, so that snapshot is deleted, right? But still, you have the same thing, same two folder, because on the second snapshot, you made this second change. You see here? So this is the system. So if you want to revert back, whatever the one you revert back, just select that one, and then say revert. And after you revert, then make sure you delete that one. So two step. And now, if I want to revert to the second change that means i want to remove it second i don't want to on the second snapshot i made this change that right? i created a second folder after the second snapshot if you look at here this is the second snapshot right this is first one this is second one right so the first snapshot i said okay after first folder and before second folder right before second folder so if i select this one and say um, revert that means second folder will be deleted right so that's the way. I'm not suspending the virtual machine. Even if you want, you can suspend the virtual machine. But anyway, machine will be uh, delayed. Machine will be um, power off when you do the revert back. Automatically, machine will be power off. So it's power off. Now, what do you need to do? So you can power on the machine and then delete it, or maybe you can delete it now here. Delete. All right. So now, just power on. Okay. Okay, it's already powered on, that's why. So I have to wait. So now we'll have only one folder, right? Because after the first snapshot, after the first snapshot, we, we made that change. So I'm just waiting to power on this machine. All right, within short time, it's gonna be power on. Okay, it's done. So now I'm going to log in with the machine, this machine. You see, I have the first folder. The first folder is still there, right? Because I have one now. So this is the change we made after we take the first snapshot, right? So this change is good. We don't want to delete it. We don't want to revert it. We don't want to revert it, but we don't want snapshot sitting there because if your snap, old snapshot sitting on your VM, it's not good for your VM because the your performance will be slow. So if, since you know, after you take the snapshot, you made this change, you make some change means you created a folder and that folder is working fine. You don't need to revert back. You don't need to revert back. In that case, what you should do? So if you don't need to revert back and whatever the change you made is good, in that case, you just need to only delete the snapshot. So you can say delete, you select and delete, or you can say delete all. If you go here, right click, and the snapshot directly you can from here you can say delete all snapshot or you can go inside and you can say delete all that's also the same thing delete all so that means what i'm deleting the snapshot but whatever the change i made is going to be stay with the server and and also in that that in that time your your server is not going to be far off you see there's no snapshot everything is gone and if you look at here, right click on it, go to the snapshot. 
you see now there's no snapshot if you go to the manage snapshot it's still, also you can show, see there's no snapshot but the change whatever i made is still there because i want this change because this change is not like something wrong so that's all that's why you should take a snapshot and also this is i'm highly recommending everybody like if you wants to do any kind of maintenance so any kind of maintenance job any kind of maintenance things um any kind of maintenance uh, you can uh, you should take a snapshot because like something can be happen anytime so don't take a risk before you do any kind of change on your machine virtual machine just take a snapshot because snapshot will take less than 10 seconds less than 10 sometimes it was 2 or 3 seconds so why not thank you thanks for watching this video i believe um, you guys enjoyed this video and also if you think this video is helpful for you please uh, give a big thumbs up and also make some comments your comments encourage me to make more videos for you guys um, if you are new in my channel please subscribe my channel Thank you. Thanks for watching and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you. Bye.